You think a way you can't do shit instead of can. Get some can in your life. I can. I can get up. I can get up from this 10 count. Start believing in yourself, you You really sorry as bro. You know that, right? You really sorry as So why you... Everybody know Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, you gotta hit his body, and all you doing is mind with the body attack. You ain't fighting straight up, and you running like a little in the corner. Look who's running now. Like, look where you at. You on the rope. And the only way you get on the ropes is, is if you run. So which way is it? Because in order for me to, in order for you to be on the ropes, I got to be coming forward. Yes, you are. Look at that. Why, why are you going back? You over here holding back the block like this is a street fighter or something, man. Don't call me cute, nigga. This ain't, boxing ain't no cute sport. I ain't in this to be cute. I ain't in this for looks. You can go at, you can go ahead and turn off your Xbox and go put, get in the mirror and go put on some makeup. Maybelline is waiting for you. underway doubling up that jab it serves him well to the body huge uppercut by Tyson and a big right hand comes crashing home from Tyson lands that hook to the midsection very nice work with the double jab up top banking away a body shot with the right hand Solid uppercut. Well, we're just underway here, and you can already sense the type of fight we're going to have. These are two guys that have flat out said it. They have come to get the other man. And they're not liars. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Mike. Oh, what a left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you just go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. For a tough target there, he gets away from that punch. A well-timed right hand by Mike Tyson. Ten seconds remaining in this round. My style is impetuous. Now you see now. You know fucked up, you know that. Look, stand straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. You gotta give me a double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You only give me one jab. Okay. Okay. Relax now. Fuck you, Baltimore! If you're dumb enough to buy a new car this weekend, you're a big enough schmuck to come to Big Bill Hell's car. Bad deal. Cars that break down. Thieves. If you think you're gonna find a bargain at Big Bill, you can kiss my ass. It's our belief that you're such a stupid motherfucker. You'll fall for this bullshit. Guaranteed. If you find a better deal, shove it up your ugly ass. You heard us right. Shove it up your ugly ass. Bring your trade. Bring your title. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. That's right, we'll fuck your wife. Because at Big Bill Hell, you're fucked six ways from Sunday. Take a hike to Big Bill Hell. Home of Challenge pissing. That's right, challenge pissing. How does it work? If you can piss six feet in the air straight up and not get wet, you get no down payment. Don't wait, don't delay. Don't fuck with us or we'll rip your nuts off. Only at Big Bill Hell. The only dealer that tells you to fuck off. Hurry up, asshole. This event ends the minute after you write us a check. And it better not bounce or you're a dead motherfucker. Go to hell. Big Bill Hell's car. All the more filthiest. And exclusive home of the meanest sons of bitches in the state of Maryland. Guaranteed.
So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him. They revived him. They massaged his legs a little bit. Gave him some encouragement. He's you good to go. Up. Blocks it away. You know, you want me to do the so right there. Punch until you're trying to get him tired. That ain't gonna Oh, what an exchange! Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. How much of a factor is his leg strength in getting these power shots off? That's a good point. His leg strength is very important because he's able to really come from down under and really put everything into it. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And Tyson with a block punch. There's a right hand. Now, Teddy, are you a fan of this right here? He, it seems like he's going for broke right now, where shouldn't he just be worried about getting fully recovered from what just happened? Yeah, well, that would mean that he's thinking right. He's not thinking right right now. Goes up top with a right hand. Side to side. Oh, what an uppercut. Final 10 seconds of round number two. That right hand serving him well. <laughs> round comes to an end. Two Joe kids. and Teddy with you here, ringside. Teddy, you know, you really got to admire how thing, accurate right? he is. I mean, he makes the most of what he throws. And round number three is underway. Just still not moving enough. Combination there. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. Committing to the combo now, both land. Able to dismiss it. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Hits him in the mug with the right. And right from the start, He's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Both men digging in with uppercuts. Uppercut. Tyson's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Good, solid right hand he lands there. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Didn't get it done going to the body there. And that's the end of round three. He's just leaving you to punch. That's all he's got. He needs roll more. If you're not punching, he is. All right, let's look at Teddy's scorecard after three rounds, and you can see I'm that he's up by you. just a round. But I think it's fair to say that it's anybody's fight at this point. Hey, keep your hands up. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Ah. You can see him timing that double jab to the head.
worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Tyson's in desperate need of an adjustment here. His style is not conducive to this fight turning around right now. These middle rounds are not being won by a brawling style. No, not at all. If he had a physical guy in front of him, he'd get away with it. But he's got a technician in front of him. A guy who's just taking him apart, little by little. Mike Tyson with a big uppercut. Targeting upstairs. You gotta be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Did you see that? What a right hand. And he goes down from it. You need to be careful who you talking to and taunting like that, bitch. You fucking trash. I don't know what gave you the audacity you, you, to, to get on the really mic and start sorry, talking bro. shit. You really sorry as fuck, bro. You know that, right? You really sorry as fuck. All so why you... Everybody know Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, you gotta hit his body, and all you doing is mindset to body attack. Like, you ain't fighting straight up, and you running like a little bitch in the corner and shit. That's then do something mean. about it, then, you bitch. Do something about it. Do something about it. Everybody knows it's not going to out in the first three rounds. Mike Tyson. Right hand that time. Chances Mike are you Tyson. not going to get the lead, but... So why did you pick him? I mean, he doesn't so need So why did you pick him? Because I wanted to win, dumbass. Don't don't over here talking shit and taunting like you was doing something. See, the truth is, is you thought you was doing something in the first round because you got a little got a couple of punches, not knowing that I let you win the first round. Well, guess what? You about to get knocked out before six. How about that? And you very, you pretty much admitted that to yourself. Cause you know you trash. Cause now look at you. Now you 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 over here talking about running and you been on the back foot like a pussy, just like a pussy. I've been on the back foot like a pussy. Yeah, like a pussy. Are you going to power punch? That's how you doing. You ain't got no fight game. Are you going to throw a power punch? Power straight. Okay, so what? I'm throwing a power straight. There goes another one. That's all you, that's, that's, you like a bitch with a power straight. That's all you got. Mike Tyson nope. digs deep with a big uppercut. Yeah, 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 then do something power about it. Weak ass oh, nice Look at you. Now you want to get on try hard mode. That ain't going to work. Try bitch. Hard. bitch. I don't need to try hard. Yes, you do. Because if you don't try hard, you're going to get knocked out. No, nah, that's a lie. Look at you now. You're like, oh, now you want to push? Why are you trying to get me off of you, huh? Is it because you know you tired, bitch? Look at you, bitch. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is right. If you don't give me respect, I'm gonna take it. Pussy ass nigga. Nah, nah pussy, you didn't get no touch. You didn't get no touch. You ran. You <laughs> look who's running now. Like, look where you at. You on the ropes. And the only way you get on the ropes is, is if you run. So which way is it? Cause in order for me to, in order for you to be on the ropes, I gotta be coming forward. Did you not listen to what the fuck I said, your Yeah, I listened to exactly what the fuck you said. But are you paying attention to what's on the screen? Bro, you ran a whole fucking fight throwing power punches, throwing power straight, standing Tyson's power straight. No, this is running. Gun. See where I'm at right now? Straight, See where the, this bro. is what, this is running. Bro. This is what you was doing bro, the first few rounds. Time. No, bro, that's the whole, that's the hardest part. This is running. That's you did right there. That's what you did right there. And when I came up to your ass, power straight. When I came up to your ass, power straight about it. All I hear is a bunch of excuses. I mean, I could come forward, I could come forward if I wanted to, but then you say I'm running. No, bitch, you, you won't come forward whenever you know young know his body out. Everybody know that's, that's common sense. You ran, this is what you did right here. Ran the whole time. No, I'm just imitating what you did. This is you right here. Push, run and push, run and push. That's you right there. Now that's how you fight. Running and pushing. Yeah, that's exactly how you fight. All right. All right.
You ain't got nothing, no, no other choice but to uh, let me have that. Round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored. You ain't got no round. choice. You suck. The the guy who's just on the floor. What you no. You telling him that you don't. Been down before. You want I mean, I could knock you out any time I feel like. You over here talking about I'm running, but the truth is, is that I know how to come forward and fight. You don't. You don't know nothing about. Oh, I will knock you out. Trust me. he goes out there, I will definitely knock you out. Okay. Okay. All you got to do is, is when I knock you down, just choose not to get up. Nah, and I know that'll you know, be pretty you know, easy for you to do because you ain't nothing but a bitch. Maybe not get up. A bitch and a quitter. Bitch. Nah, <laughs> Shut up. Oh, trust me, it's coming. All you got to do is just look at you. Oh, there you go. Look at you pushing. Why are you backpedaling? Huh? You talk about running. You don't want backpedaling. That's your fault for letting it get that low. I got over. I got 82% stamina. Why? Because that's stamina management. I know Marky Marciano. Beat you a whole lot. Your motherfucking percentage of your stamina is probably 65. Ha 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 ha. Hey, I'll show you the. I'll show you the video. I will show you pictures of my stamina in round six. Just because you don't know how to maintain or manage your stamina doesn't mean that I don't. That's why you don't know shit about boxing, bitch. Everybody knows that you over there in the corner in the fetal position, laying stiff. We don't know that yet. The 10 count ain't started. Right now we at the part where you get to watch your ass get knocked down three times. Possibly knocked out. Hey, you cute, man. You cute. Don't call me cute, nigga. This ain't boxing ain't no cute sport. I ain't in this to be cute. I ain't in this for looks. I ain't no lipstick bitch ass nigga like you. You can go at you can go ahead and turn off your Xbox and go get in the mirror and go put on some makeup. Maybelline is waiting for you, nigga. So now the question the whole that comes, you the whole that you the that you no, the only, the, I started talking shit because you started taunting in the first round like you thought you was doing something. Now you're going to eat those words. Why is his got no fight. struggling so much? Got no why can he not Neither do you, fight? and that's why you run it. Look at that. Yes. No, yes, you are. Look at that. Why, why are you going back? You over here holding back the block like this is a street fighter or something, man. He needs to faint a little bit. Yeah, look, get him forceful. Get him out of position. Get him off balance. Then get do something about it. If I'm crashed, crash, then counter my trash. No, All right. He's going to keep doing shit. what he's doing. Move air around. Why are you counting my trash? Final 10 seconds. 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 I mean, because I'm talking about shit. Why are you counting my trash? 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 Why are you I'm at zero percent damage. Reason why is because you hit like a bitch. I'm at two. I only got two percent recovery because I'm not hurt. My damage is at zero. What I'm trying to tell you is, is you haven't done nothing. You haven't hurt me. Okay, well it's going. Well your damage is about to be at a hundred. Including the last when you round. hit the floor, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, you are tired as fuck. Any one piece of weaponry, look at you. Aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter. It is the jab, and he's firing it off you. <laughs> look at you, man. Look at these punches. Don't hurt none. Nope. And that's making him effective nope. offensively and he, safe. Defensively, he's, he's out of the other he's fighter's good. range. Tyson's being damaged right now. Oh, yeah, punch after punch after punch is coming in. in. <laughs> yeah, it is. And <laughs> counter it. If that's my go-to, if you know that's the punch that I'm throwing, then counter it. That's it's that simple. Instead of instead of it's yes, you can. 
<laughs> All I see is excuses. All I hear is can't, can't, can't. No wonder why you're a loser in life. You think of ways you can't do shit instead of can. Get some can in your life. I can. Bitch, I can get up. I can get up from this 10 count. Start believing in yourself. You you're a failure at this game and you're a failure in life. No, bitch, that's you. I can. Let, let's let's start thinking positive for a second. I can. Yep. Well, maybe that, and you know what? And, that, and maybe it's time for you to do something else. It's time for you to sell your Xbox and do something else. Come on now. Come on now. You can you can put in all the mama's basement jokes, the virgin jokes, whatever. But the truth is, is that I did exactly what I said I was going to do and knock your bitch ass out. I live, I'm a man of my word. That's that much I do know. So get the fuck up out of here. Sorry. Yeah, I know I got you. Ten count. Tired of loser ass niggas over here trying to be bums thinking they something. You ain't nothing but a tomato can. And you tomato cans are gonna get thrown in the garbage daily, one by one. Tired of y'all. You motherfucking thug. That's what you wanna see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep on procrastinating over and over. Maybe I'll go to school next year, maybe next semester. No, do it right now. They'll work with you after work or maybe before work. You can do whatever you need to do to graduate. Go talk to somebody right now. They out to help you. Spend all day on the phone anyhow. Why don't you make a phone call that's going to help you in your future? All you got to do is pick up the phone and make the call. Why are you making it so complicated? It's easy.